Hey, in this video I'm going to demonstrate that the hips don't just simply turn in a golf swing, but they actually tilt as well. Tilt on the backswing, tilt on the downswing, and this will give you not only effortless power, but also will help you build and contain a good swing plane. So keep watching. Hey, if you enjoy the content, I hope you'll support my channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, turning on the bell notifications. So you also don't forget to head over to hititlonger.com for lots more free video content and some great endorsed products. All right, using an alignment stick threaded here between this belt loop and then this belt loop like this going to really clearly illustrate how the hips don't simply turn level but they're actually going to tilt fairly substantially both in the backswing and then reverse itself in the downswing. Let's take a look at a swing from the front view first. We'll replay it again in slow motion and you'll see this really cool phenomenon. All right, so looking back at that in super slow-mo, you can really see how my hips tilt almost as much as 30 degrees going back as well as turning. It's kind of a, a combination or what my mentor Mike Austin used to call a compound pivot, tilt and turn. Then in the downswing, you see the tilt reverse itself. So the left hip gets high, the right hip gets low, and that drops the right shoulder and really prepares me for a good strike of the ball. Now even looking from back up the line, I think you'll be able to see the effect that the tilt of the hips in combination with the turn really allows me to kind of set and contain a good swing plane. Now I think the back view is actually the coolest because you can really see how the hips rise and drop creating that angle which also subsequently creates angle in the shoulders and really gets a nice wheel of the body on plane with the ball. This is also making the bottom of the spine act like a pendulum and this allows a very powerful weight shift, a lot of ground forces so that you can hit the ball farther with the least amount of effort. Now, how are you gonna add a little bit of tilt in either direction to your golf swing like I'm showing you here? Well, many of the great players, you look at a, a Sam Snead and the way he looked at the top of his swing, definitely had a tilt. Now, what he did to do that was to simply pull the rear knee, the right knee, more into extension and flex the left knee towards the middle. Now, I can get a tilt going here in the hips, you can see already, without pushing my hip outside this line here, this original hip line. You can see just by changing the flex in the knees, I can cause the hips to 
tilt, then what a Sneed might do is he's going to laterally shift about six inches towards the target, which is going to put a tilt in the spine. You see now I've swung my pelvis six or seven inches out in front of my chin, thereby tilting the spine. In addition to switching the knees, now the right knee is in a short position, the left knee is in a tall position. This is helping us get into the ground and then push off the ground through the left foot. And that's what causes us to straighten the knee and get the left side tall. It's efficient use of the ground. And now I'm in this position. You can see this tilt of the hips is probably approaching 30 degrees. Now, if you ever wanted to adopt the Mike Austin style technique, all you would do is you would make both sides of the swing more symmetrical, more mirror images. And by that, I'm going to swing the right hip outside the line like this. Let's drop this club so it's not in the way. I'm going to actually push the right hip laterally outside as well as positioning the knees like this. So now my belly button is several inches to the right of my chin or my sternal slot here. And I've actually got a slight tilt to my spine. Now, this is almost like Phil Mickelson coming into the ball, lefty coming into the ball and hitting it this way. It just matches symmetrically with what you're doing in the downswing. And this gives you a little bit more complete wind up little more loading of the center of mass into the rear foot so that when you step down into the left heel you can push more force down into the ground. Now what I believe the advantage is to that method, more of the symmetrical mirror image Austin method is, I think you're going to get more effortless power and I think by freeing up these joints to move like this I think you're also going to suffer less injuries and make your career last longer and I hope it gets proven someday soon by modern science. So in summation for more power and accuracy you want to add a little tilt to your swing in each direction by controlling the hips and the knees like I'm showing you here. Hey, I think incorporating a little bit of this into your golf swing is going to make you better. If it does I hope you'll report back and leave an update in the comments. And thanks again for watching. I'm Steve and as usual I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.